hey y'all what's up it's free welcome back to my channel so today you guys before we get started with this vlog um i'm gonna be showing you guys some pieces that i got from a company named jurley she if you guys are not familiar i know that you guys are i have reviewed jurley she a few times on my channel First of all, I'm missing an earring. Just disregard that. So, I am going to a couple of events this week. And Jurley She sent over some cute little everyday pieces. And also some trendy pieces. I love the pieces that I picked out. So, I wanted to come and show you guys them. Because they are really cute. So, they sent over this dress here. And I really like this dress, y'all. It goes all the way down. So, it's kind of like... I don't have any shoes, but they go all the way down. Really cute. I don't know if this is inspired by somebody, but it's kind of, I got to figure out how I'm going to wear this. Y'all let me know how you would wear this. Let me turn the camera this way. So this is how this dress looks. I just got to figure out what kind of shoes and what kind of bag I want to wear with it. Because it's definitely giving like, I think this is cute. I think these are like little flowers. It's like a vibe. It's different, but it definitely, I don't know if this is inspired by a designer. Let me know if you are familiar with this print, but I really like this dress. I love the way it fits my body. So, I don't know. Let me know how would you guys style this piece. I'm trying to get some inspiration. So, I love this piece. I definitely say this is a 10 out of 10. I could have downsized a little bit, but... I don't want my clothes to fit really tight because you don't want your stuff to come off as cheesy. Um, this was super affordable. Love the way it looks. Okay, so let's get into, into this dress here. This dress is a little bit more on a thinner side. I do wish this dress was like double lined, but it is still a really cute dress. Now with this dress, I'll definitely pair them with like some shark type of boots like the ones from Macy's like the shark boots those would be really really cute with this with like a red bag can y'all picture like a red bag with some shark type of boots i think that'd be really cute my favorite part of this dress is this little detail right here the balenciaga part i don't even have to show that i can kind of roll it up because i don't have to show that part <laughs> like i'm more so like this part, and I'll just wear it with some nice, some nice heels. I mean, some nice um boots and a nice red bag, top handle. I think that'll be a vibe. What do you guys think? Now, I do, like I said, I would have to wear a different shape wear with this dress due to the fact that it's really thin, so you have to make sure you're wearing a shape wear that's a little bit more seamless, but I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. Like I said, I'll definitely roll the sleeves up a little bit so the little Balenciaga part don't show. But if you want to have it show, you could definitely keep it down and it'll be cute. So, and you can pair it with like a leather jacket with some boots. You'll get the girls what they need. But I just want to show you guys how it looks on me. Just a plain, simple dress. Love it. Okay, girly she's so let's get into this look here, you guys. All of the girls have this two-piece. I love this two-piece set. It's so cute. It's definitely cute if you're going out with you and your friend. It was a little hard to get into, y'all, but it is still a really, really cute look. You can wear it with, like, coach handbag as, like, a top handle bag. Yeah, I'll get what I mean. I'll tie it. To make it like real cute and then you could just put on some nice heels with it i mean i think it's a real cute little outfit what y'all think real cute i'm just giving y'all a sneak peek this is really cute to wear with you and your friends but baby when i tell you it's tight it is tight and this is a size large now i feel like if i would have got this in an extra large it would have been, you don't want loose spandex, girl. That's just going to look crazy. So, I'm glad that I got this size. I feel like it's it's really good. It's, it fits me. It's just very tight. <sighs> this is tight. But, I say this is a 10 out of 10, too. Definitely one of my favorite pieces so far. So, let's see what's next. 
Okay, y'all, this is really, really, really cute. This is a two-piece set. It comes with the pants and it comes with the top. Now, this is nice, y'all. I would definitely wear this. You could wear this with some heels. You could wear this, like, you could dress this up. I just love the way it falls on my body. Like, girl, it's so cute. Um, You could definitely wear this to, to lounge in or you can wear it out. It all depends on what you're trying to do or what kind of look you're trying to give. I definitely give this look here a 10 out of 10 for sure. This one is real cute. I kind of want this in a different color. I'm going to see if they have this in a different color, but this is cute. This is real cute. I love this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cute. The pants is a little big on me, but not much. Like, I got some room in the pants, but it's okay. It's super comfortable and it's super cute. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Let's get into this top. Y'all know what this is inspired by. This top is so cute. Like, when I tell you I'm definitely going to be wearing this top, this inspired top, it's just a really cute t shirt. Um, and then I just have it paired with my little linen slats that I got from Amazon. Love them. Um, I just think this look is so chilled, so cute, and so big deal. And I'll probably just wear my little coach bag with me some nice sunglasses, going to the coffee shop, looking like a guy. This is so cute. This is so cute. So they sent over. Journey she sent over this color. They also sent over the white one. I'm definitely gonna be wearing the white one with my black slack, um, my black linen pants, and I'm gonna wear the black one with my with these. So definitely gonna be my coffee shop look. You'll be seeing them on my blog, so because they're super cute. And then, last but not least, they sent over this t-shirt as well. That's really cute. It's like a graphic tee. Let's try this one on, and then that'll be it. Let's try this on. And this t-shirt is really cute as well. It says something about Miami, Florida on it, and y'all know I'm from Florida. So this is really cute. I could definitely wear this with some cut-up jeans some shorts for the spring and summertime. But it's really cute. Let me show y'all the bag. So dope. So make sure you guys check out Journey Sheet. I'll leave the link to everything down below for you guys. If I have a coupon code, I'll leave it down below for you guys as well. So yeah, let's get back into this vlog. Hey guys, what's up? It's free. Welcome back to my channel. Today is another day. You guys, we are doing stuff around the house. I told you guys I was going to start when I get back from vacation. So I am back. So I'm ready to turn my house into a home, my apartment into a home. So I don't know if I'm going to be doing like a series on my YouTube channel or not. But I'm just going to take you guys along with me through this process. So today I am doing the guest bathroom. So like I'm going to do like section by section so I can get the vibes, okay? So I went to Ross, y'all. I got all of my stuff from Ross. I went to Ross looking for a curtain for the shower. Um, not a shower curtain, but a curtain. And they had so much good stuff. So we're gonna do a quick haul. So hope you guys are ready. Let's get into this haul. Okay, so the first thing I picked up was this oversized shower caddy to go in the bathroom so we can put all our soaps and stuff on really nice it's black simple just very easy so I got that I feel like I need that um also I got this olive branch tree because I like greenery in the bathroom I just do I think it looks as you guys can see I love olive branches um this is really cute it was only $15 that caddy was $12 from Ralph Y'all, sometimes you can find some really nice quality pieces from Ross. So I got this. It's like a white base. Now, I do wish it wasn't so white, but it still looked really nice. And look at the inside, y'all. It looks like little rocks in it. So cute. And this was only $15. 
And this is so nice, y'all. For $15, that is nice. So I plan on putting that on the sink in the bathroom. I'm gonna play around with it and see what I like. I spent about $250, and I feel like that's good for a bathroom makeover. I did get this runner. This is a really gorgeous runner. This is not for the bathroom. I think this is gonna be for my kitchen. It's just a cream runner. And this was $16.99. I'm gonna either put this in my bathroom or also um, in my room. And look at the texture of it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's really nice and only $16. And it's pretty big. So, got that and it's like an off-white runner. I also picked up this here from this brand. What brand is it? H Hotel. I love that brand from Ross. I've used a couple of their pieces before. So this is just a king sheet set. This is 100% cotton, extra deep pocket fitted mattress up to 18 inches. Um, and this is cotton, so I love how cool cotton is on my body. Um, I love cotton sheets. I don't like silk sheets. I like more, or satin sheets, I like a cotton one. Um, and this is a king size, and it has like a black trimming around, which is really nice. And this was only $34.99. I love the black trimming. Um, so this is the, the curtain that I picked up. This is gonna be our shower curtain. Um, I was looking for a color. I did not want white. Um, I did not want cream either because I feel like I need a little bit of pop of color. My last apartment, the curtains were like, more of a tan brown undertone, like a more warmer undertone. I feel like this one is like an olive kind of complex, like olive color. As you guys can see, it has like a little bit of sheen to it. I think this will look really good in the bathroom, really nice. So, still neutral, but still a color. So this is how it looks right here. So, I just got one of them. You guys know I like to use curtains for my shower curtain and I got it it's kind of thick so I don't need a shower lining um the way my shower is set up in my bathroom it kind of you could take a shower without using a shower curtain because the way the tub is shaped no water get out so water is not going to touch these it's just for the looks and the vibes okay y'all I went ham <laughs> So, I got some white towels. I like these white towels because they out there like a little textured. I don't know if y'all can see that. But these are just some oversized white towels that I want to hang up for decoration in the bathroom. They were only $6.99. What brand is it? Arch Mantel. Mantel. Arch Mantel. That's the brand. So, I like these. It's just white bathroom towels I mean shower towels Montel Montel that's the brand so I got two of those and these are oversized and they were only $6.99 can't be that I'm trying to save some space in my closet so I picked up these pants hanger, pant hangers. So I picked up two sets of them, set of 12. This is 12 and they were only $6. So I'm gonna see if these really help me when it comes to saving room in my closet, girl, because I have so much stuff. And then I also picked up this. This is called Ruby Space Triangles and it also is supposed to help you save space in your closet. I don't know if it works or not, but we'll see. I'll let you guys know about it. It was only $7. I was like, you know, it's worth a try. So, I also picked up these little hand, hand towels. This is just for decoration. It's a set of two. And it's like this beige, like olive beige type of color. It goes with the curtains. I feel like it go with the curtains. See, these are gonna be my colors for the bathroom. I feel like that's gonna look good. Got, oh my gosh, it's getting crowded. I also got me some Skinny Girl Skinny Syrup, and this is the Salted Caramel, one of my faves. This was only $5. I love using this inside of my coffee. 
a set of sugar. Then I had, and I also picked up the Clorox Spring, what is these? Long lasting fragrance, the little fragrance bead things. I love using these in my clothes. And also for my blankets, I clean, I wash my blankets every Sunday. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. This scent is called Spring Primavera. Prima, it's called Spring Primavera. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, but it smells so soft and pretty. It smells like spring, girl. It smells so fresh. And using those really make a difference. Right, so I picked up this rug here to go in the bathroom as well. I think it'll look really good with the shower curtain. This was only $15.99 and it is like a bath rug. So although I don't like to buy bath rugs and like matchy matchy rugs for the bathroom, um, I love this one. This one is really nice and it was only $16. Now I feel like it'll flow with the curtain really nicely. Oh, and then I got this one here as well. Really nice. So this is a bathroom rug too. So I like bathroom rugs, but it don't. I don't like it to look like it go for the toilet. It goes for the sink. It go. I like it to look. You guys know what I mean. And I just got some light bulbs from Home um, Home Depot to change out all of my light bulbs. I love using a hundred watt light bulb daylight. Okay, this is the brand that I love to use all over my house. Sometimes I do like 75 watts, but I love to use the Eco Smart Daylight, not not um white light, daylight 100 watt. Oh my gosh, it brightens up your place so well, y'all. So definitely for my bathroom. Sometimes in my living room, it don't have to be so bright because I like it to look a little sultry. But for the bathroom, my makeup vanity and stuff like that, daylight 100 watts. So let me get to cleaning the bathroom. I already cleaned it, but I'm about to clean it even more. And then I'm going to um, do the grout, 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 grout. Because when I moved in this apartment, the grout don't look as fresh as I want it to look. And so I'm gonna go and paint the grout so it can look fresh. The color I got was bone. Um, yeah, so that's all I got from Ralph. I'm gonna put this stuff away and then we're gonna go ahead and see the vibes in the bathroom, okay? So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Girl, I was looking at my video editing and I'm like, where is the reveal of the bathroom? I don't know what happened to this that clip. But anywho, here is the bathroom came out really nice it's i'm still working on it guys i still have to complete this wall i don't know i think i might add like some type of wallpaper over here i think that'll be fire but i'm just not sure what kind of wallpaper i want to add something simple and plain but i just think a wallpaper will look really nice and some nice towels will look really nice on this wall but yeah this is how everything look i kept it very simple Y'all, I love a simple, minimalistic type of house. Um, this is the olive branch, the olive branch tree. I love it. It's nice and it's full enough. Got some napkins so my guests can wash their hands, have some soap. And I just got these towels here because it reminds me of a hotel girl. So I love to have like fresh towels here and fresh, you know, little hand towels. I try to keep these fresh. So when my son use it, I could just change them out and put some fresh ones up. But yeah. And then I put this big picture here up, which I love. Yeah, I think I want some wallpaper on this wall. Let, let me know what you guys think I should add to this wall. As far as my curtains, girl, I'm in mean my shower curtains. I'm definitely going to add more. So I'm going to go back to Ross and see if I can find another pack of them. And I need some more shower hooks. Um, I ran out of shower hooks. So... Um, I do have one more curtain, like one little panel, but I want to add a whole nother pack because I want this to look a little bit more pleated, like really pleated. So I'm going to go try to find another pack um, of them, a pack or two, you know? So yeah, but besides that, I love everything in this bathroom, really clean and classy. Good morning, good people. What is up? What is up? So today is... 
co-working we're having like a galentine little lunch so um me and the girls are meeting up um we're co-working with rbe i need to put some lotion on my outfit today y'all is very simple i have on this zara excuse me excuse me by my curtains but i just washed my curtains um i have on this zara outfit y'all it is so big y'all remember i got this probably last year last spring huge but i'm gonna still wear it i'm gonna just do a little roll a little tuck i'm gonna bring my heels put on some lotion and we have to go and put on some lip gloss when i get in the car i'm not even switching my bag out because i don't want to be too late i don't want to be too late i'm gonna take you guys along with me today because why not I need to put on some gloss or something on my lips. I'm so stuffy, y'all. In the morning times, I be so, my allergies be so, um, I be so stuffy. Little gloss. Whew. Nothing hits like that Fenty. And then I'm going to just grab my heels and go. Um, I have on some Dossier amber cherry which is like a tom ford um lost cherry dupe and it smells so good it's so soft so anywho i'm gonna grab my heels and head out the door because um yeah and these earrings here are from my you guys can shop my for these these are so cute they have like a little stud in the middle super you know statement i love these okay guys so let's go Hey guys, so we have made it to the restaurant. It is so cute. Let me show you guys the vibes in here because the vibes are top tier. Let's get into it. About to order our food. Look at our little pink heart that we're about to paint. So cute. Oh, I love Vinegar. <laughs> oh, I love Vinegar. And then look at the little pink. Arby would have loved you. I need to have me a girl, y'all. Yeah. Sipping our little wine. I'm just being girls and just doing girly. Happy Valentine. <laughs> and I have some roses to take home. <laughs> My birthday gift. Oh. Everybody gets one of these. I get the. I'll show but you guys. She's not getting a big one. She always wants a big one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna change my You wanna change it out? <laughs> Oh, and it's still slide down? Yeah. But you know the tripods be breaking. They be they be coming off the I have to order tripods every other month. Oh. Fine. Of course I'm trying to eat healthy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Grocery shopping. Yeah. Like some um, 
um, what am I gonna take? Some Theraflu. I feel a little better, but I feel like I still can use a little bit more medicine. I'm gonna use this Marcella water I found under my cabinet to take this makeup off. Hopefully, it's not old and it's gonna break me out. But, um, yeah, y'all, I just been sick, girl. I've been literally sick, like sick as a dog. So, I finally feel a little better today and trying to get back in the routine and everything. I definitely will be back at the gym. Like this, just like since the new year has started, I really haven't really been in the gym like I'm supposed to be in the gym. Like seriously, like I really been slipping, so I'm ready to get back. It's just like, I always got something to do. I can't even stay focused. Oh, it's so annoying. But I don't know, I gotta stay focused. This month of February, I did take off from the shop. So I was able to like relax a little bit, but girl, it's still been a lot going on. But, um, oh my gosh, my nose is running. That's good, okay. I took majority of the makeup off. I gotta fix my forehead, y'all. I got so much hyperpigmentation on my forehead. It's driving me crazy. Let's clean our face. I'm gonna be using my Tasha Rice Wash today to clean my face. So yeah. Um. Hopefully, I can get back on routine. Get back to the gym. Like I supposed to, like after, like just, I'm still not officially moved in my place, y'all. I still got like a lot of stuff to do around here. And I don't know, like it's kind of throwing me off when I'm not completely unpacked. And I know y'all like breathe. How long does it take to unpack? It's taking me a long time to like unpack. It's like, I don't know, I be having so much to do. <sighs> Girl, so much to do. And then I get sick. If I'm not sick, I'm going on vacation. It's just like, oh my gosh. And then I gotta go back to work in March. But you know what? I'm not complaining. I'm gonna still do what I gotta do. Tomorrow, I'm gonna unpack a couple more bags. Um, I got my closet unpacked. I'm going to order some more stuff from Amazon. I'm going to just do what I need to do. I be procrastinating and so indecisive about a lot of things. Girl, just do what you got to do because that's what I need to do. I need to wash my face again. I feel like I need to wash it with my hands. Just come on. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm going to like plan my schedule. I feel like sometimes I'm not... I don't get things done because I don't plan well. So tomorrow I'm gonna plan well. I probably record a little bit more content tomorrow because so I can be ahead of the game. So yeah, I'll probably record some more content. We're gonna vlog. I need to get January, February Amazon haul up. I'm always so late with my Amazon hauls, which is not good for me working with Amazon because they go off of how much you make in a month. And I always start my month so late. So what I'm gonna start doing is just start ordering all my stuff that I wanna talk about early in the month, okay? Oh, it'd be a lot of going. It'd be a lot of stuff going on. Where's my little wipes? I need to, I love the way this feel on my face. I'm about to take me a nice bath and take me some medicine, drink me some tea and get in my bed, girl. So I'm gonna wash this off. And then when I get out, we're gonna put on some moisturizer and stuff. So I'll talk to you guys when I get out of the shower, okay? Hmm. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. <laughs> good morning, good people. What is up, guys? 
I'm on my way to the gym. I haven't been to the gym all week. And it's time that I go. Oh my gosh, this hyperpigmentation on my forehead is killing me. I'm going to have to add some lightning green. Um, last night, the uh, that shower was so good. I'm going to just put a little moisturizer on my face. Nothing much. <sighs> so, yeah, I'm going to get, like I told y'all, I've been so sick. But I'm going to go and do me a good 30 minutes at the gym just to get back in the swing of everything. Um, yeah, so that's what we're on our way to do. And then I have some work to do today. I have to film a little bit. So I'm going to like, you know, fix my hair a little bit. I, I'm gonna put, I love these curls, y'all. These are so pretty. Like, I love when my hair is, like, barely curled. Like, I don't even know if I'm going to curl my hair because I really love how my hair look like this. Like, these are the type of curls I like. Very effortless, barely there type of curls. So pretty. But I probably add a little dry shampoo to this hair. I really like this wig. I'm, I'm thinking about, like, experimenting and adding, like, two more bundles. To make it like super super full because I really like the way it looks I do I really do and I didn't even tie my hair up last night so I might go on Amazon and try to find me some like 16 inch bundles and just add it to it I might go to the hair store and dye it a blue black and then add it to it. I don't know. I just see that girl. I be doing too much because I do so much weight reviews. Please. Please. I'm not even going to keep this on that long, but it is really pretty. So, girl, let's go to the gym for 30 minutes. We can do 30 minutes. Let's push through. Because I'm a little bloated. I need to get it together. Alright. Oh my gosh. I look so. Like, I look like I've been sick. My eyebrows are so full right now. But, talk to y'all when I come back from the gym. Y'all. Oh, so I went by Trader Joe's. I need to put this stuff up because it's been in the car for a minute. Um, and then I'm about to do my makeup and stuff and get ready to film this content. to record this content this is the stuff that I'm recording for you guys so I'm gonna put this stuff up get all cute um, I got me some flowers so I need to put them in some water I'm gonna make a little flower arrangement today I tried on this new foundation I'm gonna try it on once I'm like do my makeup and then try it on it's like it's not a foundation but it's by Juvia Place and it's called the Radiance Booster. Radiance Booster. So it looks like foundation. It looks really good on the skin. It comes like this. So I'm gonna do my makeup in a minute. But I gotta put all this stuff up. Did a little grocery shopping because my family loves. Like, I love Trader Joe's because they have a lot of stuff that I want. They always are sold out of this chicken dumpling, but I had to get in three boxes. Like I said, they're always sold out. So, I'm glad they had some stuff in stock. I also got some grilled chicken strips to go in my tacos. What else? Some shrimp. Some more mozzarella sticks, some broccoli, and then I got to get to work. This is gonna be my little arrangement that I plan on making.
just a whole lot of other stuff so let me get dressed and get myself together but I'm excited I, I tried on this foundation already and it looks so good it's not a foundation but it looks like a foundation but yeah I'm about to go do my makeup so I'll talk to you guys in a little bit and hopefully everything fits from this brand I'm gonna just peep over it so when I try it on they can look cute but anywho I saw a girl on TikTok use um Dove. Now, I, I don't know if I saw it on TikTok or YouTube, but I saw her use like Dove, the bar, I mean Dow soap to clean her brushes. So I'm about to clean my brushes. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. Cause I wanna, like I said, I wanna do my makeup tomorrow for some type of content I want to film tomorrow, so I want to have clean makeup brushes. And I was, she had used this in her vlog. Yeah, it was on YouTube. She used this in her vlog, and she was like, it cleans her break makeup brushes so good because it has like, um, what does it have? It's really good for bacterial on your brushes, so. Um, we gonna see. And they should be dry to, by tomorrow night when I'm ready to um, go out so my makeup can look as flawless as possible. Oh uh, yeah, it's clean in it. Definitely clean in it. All right guys, so I cleaned my makeup brushes. They are drying on the edge of the sink. Now we're gonna do some skin care. Cause I'm trying to get my skin together, y'all. I'm really trying to get it together. I also brought some, um, let me show y'all what I brought today. Bought this um, Murad. This is some Rapid Dark Spot Correcting Serum by this brand. Really popular. I'm gonna be using this to see if it works. I'm gonna be trying to be consistent with this, y'all, because. A lot of stuff work, but I don't use it long enough to see if it works. So this is supposed to be rapid, so it's supposed to work. I'm gonna be using this Trader Joe All-in-One Cleanser. This is an exfoliant, tearless, rich cleanser, dermatology formulated, and also this enriched moisturizing face lotion. So I'm gonna try this little system. For, I'm still gonna use my drug and the elephant, but I'm kind of running out my dermatology, dermo, dermal, dermatology. I think that's how you say it. So I was like, let me try a different cleanser, like an everyday cleanser. I did use the the um, rice wash by Tatcha as well, but I just wanted something that is not that expensive, just like an everyday cleanser. Um, so we gonna see. How this works, I'm gonna be using this consistent. I'm gonna use one of my little sponges, my little face cleaning sponge, because I'm trying to get my skin right, y'all. As you guys can see, I've really been putting in a lot of effort when it comes to like trying to figure out what my skin like. Cause I just want my skin. I really want to just take care of my skin and try new things that work for my skin. This don't have no smell like that. And this is for sensitive skin, so, you know, we are gonna see what it do. Is it really clean my face good? Cause I wear makeup, y'all, I wear makeup a lot. So, I have to make sure that I'm taking care of my skin. I definitely can tell the texture of my skin is changing, 
like up in here, I had so many like small bumps, but I still have some, but we're going to get it together. We is going to get it together. I think I need to use my hand. Sometimes you just want to use your hand. So I'll let y'all know. I got this little cleanser from Trader Joe's. It was really, really cheap. What it do? I'm sorry, it's a lot of skincare stuff in this vlog, but it's a vlog, and I'm just trying to keep it real with y'all. This is what I do every night. I want to make me some tea as well, so I'm probably gonna make me some tea before I go to sleep. I don't know what kind of tea, but some type of tea. We're gonna make up some tea. Then we're gonna watch some YouTube. I haven't watched any YouTube videos all day just because I've been so busy. Sometimes I don't like to watch YouTube videos when I need to have a productive day because it's kind of a distraction. I'm not gonna even count sometimes because a lot of my girls post our vlogs and if I watch two of their vlogs, that's two hours that I can be doing something. So I try to watch my YouTube videos like when I'm not doing nothing, when I'm done at the end of the night, you know? Okay, just cleaning the rest of the makeup off my face. I know that. Okay. Oh my gosh, I gotta get this. I had on. Uh, a good amount of makeup today. Okay. Okay. Cleaning. I feel like I should cleanse again, y'all. I always like clean around my edges a little bit when I have on a lace wig because makeup, I put makeup up there and I don't want, sometimes that lace will break your hair out, girl because it's makeup up there and mm -mm. I'm learning that product that's sitting on top of your hairline, it'll kind of mess your hair up. I mean your hairline, I don't need no bumps around my edges. Like, girl, no. So, <sighs> now I'm gonna just put on a little of this dark spot serum. And I just want it on my forehead, really. Oh, that burns. Oh my gosh, that burns. Oh, but this spot right here, this shit gotta go. I hate that. It looks like a rotten mango. Oh, wow, Brie, that's a little like, Jesus Christ, that's a little, that's a little much. Wow, your face look like a fucking bright mango. That's crazy. Then I'm gonna just put a little bit of the face lotion on my face. Face lotion, wow. And I'm not gonna put it where I put the serum at because I don't wanna manipulate it. Just what y'all do, right? On TikTok and YouTube, y'all be doing this. Okay. Period. Let me do it too. Cause y'all be having some flawless skin. And I'm just trying to stay young, girl. Ever since I turned 34, it's like, ooh, skincare, everything. I gotta just make sure my hands, like I've been paying attention to everything, girl. Like I'm trying to like stay as young as possible. <laughs> Making sure that I really dedicate, like this is a part of my life when it comes to my skincare and my just overall well-being, girl. Just pay attention to those things. So, I'm about to take a shower and call it a night. We're gonna be using this. I'm keeping this on my vanity. We're gonna use this every single night. We're not gonna miss a day. I'm gonna use this at nighttime because I feel like at nighttime, um, it kinda go into my skin more because I have a spot right here, y'all. On camera, you can't really see it, but it is so dark. It's just like, oh, 
no, I got to get this together. If this don't work, I'm going to a dermatology girl, dermatologist, because I don't got time. I'm trying to get my skin really, really clear with no texture. So the next week or two, we're going to be using this. We're also going to be using this. So I'm just putting my little skincare stuff in one little pile. We're definitely going to continue to use our Drunk Elephant Moisturizer. And that's it. And just the lightning cream. So those little five things is what I'm going to be using. And the face lotion. Girl, look at my nose running. That is so ugly. I'm so sorry, y'all. Alright, okay. I'm tired. I'm. I know y'all tired of being in this bathroom, but we about to take a shower, and girl, once I get out of the shower, we'll make us some tea, some type of tea. I don't know what kind of tea it is, but we are gonna make us some tea. I wanna do. I have some honey. Hopefully, I have some honey. I don't know. And my eyebrows are growing out, but y'all, I think I'm gonna let them grow out a little bit more. Um, and this other brand, this brand sent over, it's a brand, let me show y'all this brand. Sorry. This brand, I think it's called Maylie's. They sent over some body care products that I want to use, start incorporating in my everyday routine. So this is called B-Flex, and it's to lift and firm your arm cream. Like, what the hell? Like, it lifts and firm your, firm your arm. So... I don't know if it works. We are gonna see. And then they sent over called B Foxy. This your inner thigh firming cream. So I rub this in the inside of my thighs, and it's supposed to like firm it. And look, they sent big bottles. And then this one here is a belly firming cream. So this is for your belly. And this is called B Flat. So it's B Flat, B Foxy, and B Flex. So, I'm just so excited to see how this works. Um, I don't know, y'all. I really don't know. I'm going to read more information about it. Tested on women of all different shapes and sizes and skin concern, which is why we are so sure you're going to love our products and your results. Don't forget to tag us on Instagram. We gonna see. So we gonna rub this on our belly. <coughs> we gonna rub this on our arm. So after I get out of the tub, I'm gonna just rub it on my arm. Directions. It said apply a genuine amount of level to the stretch marks. Oh my gosh. I wanna use this on my stomach. So oh my gosh so i'm definitely excited to try this i'm really excited to try the arm one and also the stomach one so it said all you have to do is apply it to your stretch marks and loose skin in the belly area massage it into the skin and circular motions until fully absorbed you may start to feel a sensation a warming sensation that's totally normal if you're not into the tingle we, re we recommend waiting at least 20 minutes after a shower with, before applying this so i'm gonna use this tonight we're gonna have a whole little routine and i'm gonna be using this for a couple of months and i'll let you guys know if i notice a difference because my stomach girl i had a big baby i'm not I'm not ashamed of my stomach, but I have a mommy stomach. I have stretch marks on my stomach. I don't wear my stomach out anyways, girl. Like, I'm grown. I do not wear my tummy out. Like, but maybe if I didn't have so many damn stretch marks, I would wear it out. Um, but I don't. Um, but I want to, like, see if this works. <laughs> and then also see if it works on my arm to lift and tighten my arm. I'll let y'all know, girl. So I'm gonna leave these this company down below. It's called Maylee. Oh my God, it's here. So thank you so much for Maylee's for sending this over to me. I can't wait to try your products. So let's go take a shower. <clears throat> and then we're gonna make us some tea because my throat's feel a little, <sighs> yeah, we gotta get it together. Oh my gosh, y'all, an update on this stuff. So I put some of my arms, I put some of my stomach, and my inner thigh. I feel like I have on heating pads. Like my arms are so hot. Like they are hot. Okay? My stomach is hot. Like it feels like it don't burn like it hurts, but it's hot. Like I have on like 
a really really hot heating pad that is crazy it's so hot y'all like it's so hot i can't believe it's like burning like that not in a bad way but it's like a really really hot sensation so i'll keep you guys posted on that but it is hot that's crazy i don't know how long it tingle for but it say if you feel a tingling feel that's normal so i'll let y'all know when the tingling stop but right now it's on fire like i feel like my skin is like burning in a good way like maybe it's burning off the fat cells or something i don't know what it's doing it's not it's uncomfortable but it don't hurt as of now i'm not in pain it's just burning so yeah that's cool hey y'all I am doing my makeup. I'm about to go out to dinner. And I'm doing my makeup. Y'all, I put um, Velcro rollers in my hair tonight. I never did that before. I'm super excited to see how it's going to come out looking. Because like I said, I never did that before. I'm just doing my regular one, two makeup. Nothing too much. Just a nice bronzy, smoky eye. I'm going to put on a fuller lash because I'm going to dinner. So... Yeah. Let's go get me a pair of lashes. I'm doing a TikTok too, y'all. I'm doing a get ready with me TikTok as well. So, I love these lashes. These lashes are from Amazon, y'all. These are my favorite going out lashes. The best lashes ever. This is the magic trick, is this freaking latte concealer by Too Faced, baby. If you put latte, <laughs> when I tell you, and you let that sit for a little bit, you guys, I'm going to take my rollers out while I let this sit. So let's take our rollers out. First time I'm rolling my hair, and I, I just want it for volume.
lots and lots of volume. Look at that. so I am about to head out let me show y'all what I got on really 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 quick so I have on this Zara two-piece outfit my black and gold bag my black and gold pumps just keeping it very very simple earrings are these little shell earrings these are from Zara yeah so this is how my hair came out, y'all. Oh my gosh, I really love it. So like voluminous. Um, as far as my set tonight, I'm gonna use the Valentino. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and head out. I don't think I'm gonna vlog, I'm just gonna catch a vibe. Yeah. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. If I do vlog, it'll be on my phone. I'm sorry y'all, I did not vlog not one thing at the karaoke night. Girl, <laughs> we had so much fun, I did not vlog anything. I did not even think about my camera at all. Oh, A time was definitely had. So, now I'm about to take me a shower and go cuddle with my man, my man, my man, my man, my man, my man, my man. These earrings are so cute. I'll keep these forever. Oh, I can't wait to my get these. But Zara has them right now, y'all. Y'all better get them while they in stock because you know Zara don't keep everything in stock. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and end off this vlog because I'm going to start another one tomorrow. I feel like this one is good enough. My makeup is still holding up, y'all. I've been using this cheap setting spray. It's $3.99. It's by Ellen Tracy. And it's a day and night for long-lasting makeup application and hydration. This is what I've been using on my makeup. And, girl, my makeup have not budged at all. I see, like, a little bit right here. Like, something's going on right here. I don't know what that is like but besides that the makeup is on really really good so I like this stuff I like this stuff I'll be doing a favorites video really soon for you guys as well so I'm gonna go ahead and close, close this vlog off I love you guys thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and I'll talk to you in my next vlog bye guys